Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, let's see what the week holds for you. The Ace of Pentacles, very nice. Uh, the advice is the Knight of Swords, very nice. And the outcome is the Eight of Swords. Okay, so this week holds an opportunity. Opportunity to you fill in the blank. Um, start a business, uh, strength train, uh, get healthier, exercise. Uh, opportunity to make some large purchase. You'll see the manifestation of maybe your hopes or wish that you were... Um, you were kind of uh, contemplating on for a while. You'll see the manifestation of that thing. I don't know if you're going to get an opportunity to see someone or be in the same place at the same time. Something about timing, fate, okay? Um, so I don't know if the opportunity is, uh, is about, um, yeah, about you being in the right place at the right time. The opportunity is also to um, maybe reconcile. I don't know why I'm here and reconcile. Reconcile, come together. Or somebody makes something right here. Somebody come to someone right, foundational, clear, clear in their mind. Uh, psychosis. I don't know what. I don't know if somebody went through something. If someone had gone to uh, a therapist, psychotherapist, a psychiatrist, something about this. But somebody has had some true psychoanalysis happen with them. Therefore, maybe their personality is shifting, it's changing, their perspective is changing. The advice here is to go forward, charge forward, be tunnel vision on making this thing happen, on speaking your truth, maybe on getting someone back, or getting them to come back here. Again, heavy emphasis on someone wanting to make something right, someone wanting to pull something or pull someone back in. The Knight of Swords talks about... Um, knowing that someone is getting away from you, a love partner, and you needed to do something big, kind of grand, to pull them back in. Uh, the Knight of Swords is, is not always too keen on commitment, uh, not too fast to commit also. And also, this is not a, a knight who is good with long-term planning. It's very much for the short term. Uh, they have an idea, they, they want to move on it, and that is the advice of the cards. The outcome is the Eight of Swords, though. It seems as if this is the advice, but the outcome is the Eight of Swords. Somebody's waiting for the other person, waiting for somebody to do something, and then they'll do something. You've given up agency in your life to actually make change. You know, you're not the change agent in your life. You're, you're giving that to someone else. Um, so it's like you, you want to stay in this mental uh, funk or this cycle here of overthinking, uh, negative thinking, circular thinking, where you just, it just goes in a circle. Same thought over and over again uh, versus, you know, seeing this from a different perspective here. Um, get outside of yourself. Uh, see that there's a way out of this. Uh, the Eight of Swords talk, talks about the air of being good natured. So maybe you were good to somebody. You have a good nature about yourself. And that was the air. There was the air uh, or the air. Um it got you to a place where maybe you were taken advantage of or you were put in this, this space here of the Eight of Swords, this holding place. You don't know what's going to happen. You're waiting for the other person. Or vice versa, this is how somebody feels about you, Cancer. It just seems like it's an, a situation of this week where you have opportunity to make something right or someone has opportunity to make something right with you, but they're not sure if they're going to do it. And they're not sure if they're going to be well-received. They're not sure if, if they go to this person and they do something. Um, if it's going to change anything here. But the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom of the deck says that it will. Let's see what this is about. Let's pull a Kipper deck here. Occupation. So this could be about maybe your job here. It could also be about something that you do freelance, okay? You have the opportunity to change something ab about your job. Maybe you've become stagnant in your job, in your freelance, in your occupation. Uh, maybe the clients are coming in, you know, trickling in. Um, it's not a, you know, a steady flow, a steady cash flow here. It's opportunity for you to over for, to, for you to rethink something, uh, shift the energy, uh, go back to the drawing board, 
uh, be determined to bring in client or clientele also have that change here there's some psychic downloads that will be coming to you okay for you or someone else um, there's some change that needs to be made maybe in terms of your fortune your your money how you make it you have opportunity to grow a business but you're gonna have to put 110 percent behind this you cannot be lazy about this you have to get moving on this you have to be active proactive here think of new ways to uh, bring in money okay um, think of new ways to bring in clientele is, is see yourself over the hump over the obstacle that is standing in your way here there's a new way there's a new path to how you can do something so this is what I have for you cap uh, cancer if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section also go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy l a coffee link catch me here every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where you can ask questions and come for the collective reading thank you guys many blessings to you